Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to talk more omnichannel and we're going to talk about the quick replies functionality that exists for agents, right? So the scenario here is if an agent is chatting with a customer, they have the ability to perform quick replies. So messages that they would consistently be typing, they have the option to just click a button and that uh, predefined message can be sent over to a customer, right? So it saves the agent's time and saves them typing and uh, makes the experience just a little bit better for the agents, right? So let's look at how we can set that up. So I'm over here in the Omnichannel Admin Center app. And uh, one thing to keep in mind here is if I click on the Omnichannel Admin Center app, we see here that the uh, Omnichannel Administration app, this one's gonna be uh, basically deprecated uh, kind of soon, okay? And there's uh, a lot of changes coming with uh, customer service workspace and Omnichannel, and there's a new uh, customer service admin app that's also out there in preview that's coming. So, you know, these these things are in flux, but the basic idea here is is the same, right? Um, you know, when 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 things get migrated in different places, it's the same concepts where you'll be basically going in and and changing a configuration and uh, that will be reflected on the Omnichannel functionality side, okay? So let's go with the Omnichannel Admin Center app today, and we will go ahead and click on Agent Experience. And up here at the top, we have Personal Quick Replies. Allow agents to create their own quick reply messages with keyboard tagging, okay? So let's go ahead and click Manage here. And by default, it's set to Off, so we're gonna say uh, click On, right? So allow the agents to do that. Now we're gonna go ahead and click save. And now we are giving them that capability. So uh, let's take a look at what this looks like now on the agent side. Okay, so here we are in the Omnichannel for Customer Service app and we're logged in as an agent. And basically what we wanna do first is come up here, click on this plus sign here, and we're gonna go over to personalization, okay? And then this takes us over to this uh, user settings here, and we have personal quick replies, right? Um, if we click here to create a new one, it gives us uh, this option here. So I'm just gonna say, um, hi there, how are you? And let's go ahead and save this. So now let's say the uh, uh, customer goes ahead and, and starts a conversation and says hi. If we go back over here, you may need to refresh your uh, Omnichannel for Customer Service app and keep in mind that these changes sometimes take a few minutes to come through, okay? So if you go now to the uh, quick replies down here and let's click on personal and we can see here that we have uh, our quick reply coming up, right? So there it is, it says, hi there, how are you, right? So, so that's it, the quick reply is available. Um, so, so we can go ahead and use it now and it just makes it a little bit easier for uh, agents to be able to customize uh, omnichannel and be able to deal with customers, right? Um, you know, so, so you just don't have to type in, if you're an agent, you don't have to type in the same thing every time. You just go here to the quick replies and, and use it. And a quick way to get to the quick replies also is just uh, slash Q and then it's just gonna come up like that. And one more thing I wanna mention is slugs. So basically, if you go back over here to our quick replies, and uh, basically you can use slugs here, right? So slugs are a concept in Omnichannel where uh, basically you're using predefined variables uh, in, in areas of the system where uh, potentially, uh, generally where strings are used, right? So, uh, so in this case here, we have hi there, and then, so you could actually add in a replacement uh, a, uh, a slug here and it'll it'll replace the value of the slug with the actual value. So so one easy example here is uh, we can use full name of the customer. So we basically put in full name customer like this and uh, it's going to replace that there, okay? So we can go and save and close this and then we can go ahead and try this out. So in order to run this, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select a customer here and I'm gonna select a contact like this. 
So that will be assigned to the conversation. And then so once I click on the slug, you'll see it like this, but it, then, it, then it, it automatically substitutes the text there, right? So let me show you again. I'm just going to delete that, click on here. So we have the, the slug in there. It's, it's like a variable. It doesn't have any translated value yet, but once you click on it, it, it substitutes the, the full name here in my case, right? And then you can just go ahead and send that off and then you'll get back the, uh, uh, you'll be able to communicate with the, with the customer that way. So that's it for personal quick replies. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.